Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, um, our today's topic of discussion is independent events. Okay, so um, we'll be learning about that. What are the independent events? Uh, what are the different sort of things in the independent events and each and everything, right? So, uh, right, let me quickly put up the topic for today and that's independent and here goes the events great um, okay so uh, we have some further conditions here that are to be put it upon okay and if those respective conditions are true then first of all in that case we say that these are the independent events okay if those respective conditions are true okay so um, so in this case i would simply mention it up here that uh, two events, two, uh, two events are independent, are independent, two events are independent if, if the, if the following, uh, if the following are, are true. Okay, so two events are independent if the following are true. Let me get down right here. Um, okay, so the very first condition is that if they, these are true if probability of A or B. Okay, if the probability of A or B is the probability of A. Okay, this is the very first condition that has to be satisfied out uh, if you are checking out for that respective events are independent or not okay next my second condition goes are the probability of b or a and that shall be equal to the probability of b now that is my second condition which actually is has to be even has to be satisfied out like like any of the ones you could choose out whichever is satisfying now goes my third condition that the probability of a and b probability of a and b is equal to probability of a dot probability of b okay so right here we have this respective thing that the probability of a or b is equal to probability of a probability of b or a is equal to probability of b and probability of p and b is equal to probability of a dot probability of b okay so uh, now if these following are the true Okay, the conditions mentioned up here, if the conditions are true, then into that respective case, we say that the two events are independent. Now, we have some more things regarding the independent events that are to be seen and even that are to be uh, learned about. Let's move for those respective things. Uh, here, I would start writing up the things. So, the two events, the two events, A and two events, A and B, are two events a and b are independent are independent if are independent if the knowledge if the knowledge that one occurred that one if the knowledge that one occurred does not does not effect does not affect the chance of does not affect the chance of other occurs the chance of other occurs now um what do i mean up here from whatever the things i did have written up so listen to me that two even c and b those respective events are independent if if the knowledge that one occurred does not affect the change of other occurs, it means that whatever the knowledge uh, that one has occurred does not affect the chance of other occurs. So in that case, A and B, the two events are said to be independent, right? So this is what this independent uh, here means. Now, 
uh okay let's take a very quick example for this independence uh thing for checking out the independence event so let's say uh that the outcome of the two roles of a um, fair i if okay let me just write that only because uh it would be very much more clear while the writing of the thing so let's take up an example uh that the outcome the outcome of the outcome of two roles the outcome of two roles uh, of a fair die the outcome of two roles of a fair die are are independent are independent events okay let's say for example we took that the outcome of two roles of a fair die are independent events okay so the outcome the the outcome of the the outcome of the first uh the outcome of the first role a uh, role does not change does not change does not change the probability i am simply writing this prob that is actually referring to my probability only okay make sure remember that out so the outcome of the first roll does not change the probability for the for the for the outcome of the for the outcome of the second for the outcome of the second roll so the outcome of the first roll does not change the probability for the outcome of the second row okay so uh, in this case to show that the events are independent to show to show that to show that the events are uh, let me just quickly get down here to show that the events are independent are independent to show that the events are independent uh, you must you must uh, show you must show only uh, only one of you must show only one of the above conditions only one of the above and uh, here okay one second above here goes the conditions so to show that the events are independent you must show only one of the above conditions so if the two events are not dependent then we say that they are dependent okay so here goes i would just write that out that if two if two events if two events are not uh, not dependent if two events are not dependent then then we say that the that the events are dependent dependent okay so in that case that if the two events are not dependent so in that respective case we say that the events are dependent now uh, the sampling the sampling which we have out here so that respective sampling can be done um, in two ways that is with replacement or without replacement so these are the two uh, methods uh, with the help of which this respective uh, sampling could be done out the first one is with replace with replacement and the second one is the without replacement okay so with that with and without replacement we'll be seeing both of the things in detail in the next video not right up here okay so today we discussed about uh, a little about the independent event so whether the for if the following conditions which are these three mentioned up here if those are true in that case we say that these respective two events are independent okay and the two events a and b are independent if the knowledge that one occurred does not affect out the chance of the other 
occur so in that case we say that these two events are independent right and we just saw up a quick example here that how do we do up the respective things great so hope i'm very much clear with these things that what are the independent events uh, what are the certain conditions that are to be followed up here and what are the certain conditions that are to be satisfied and set as true for making up the events as the independent events right we'll be continuing that this up into the next video so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care